Boylan's breakdowns. You, you see how creative we are? We just use a litter of terms, and we get some analytics on the board there. The whiteboard, I love Look the whiteboard. Look at that. Former head coach of the Chicago Bulls here. And if, if you have some former players that are watching, they know that you say some things pretty frequently, one of which we've learned is the term halt. Yep. Okay, so halt. we're about a quarter of the way into the NBA season, just past that mark. Explain to us what halt means and why you say it all the time. Well, you go through training camp. Yep. You go through November. You go through December. You try to get to Christmas. People are angry. They're hungry. They're lonely. They're tired. They're worn out, right? You have Christmas break. You kind of get through New Year's, and then you got to get to the All-Star game. The NBA is a marathon. Mm -hmm. So you got to handle the halt, right? You got to handle being hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Keep playing hard. Keep communicating. Keep focusing on your job. Be a professional. That's what the NBA is all about. Well, Coach, when I'm hungry, I eat. That's there you go. You know, that's what happens. Well, sometimes you're on a plane. Sometimes you're playing. That's Sometimes you're, yeah. Angry. I mean, you think Houston was angry when they were not winning games? Yeah, 15 yeah, in a row. They were angry. Yep. And then you think it's lonely back. when you're not winning games? You sure. think it's tough? Nobody talks to you, right? So how do you Nobody over, calls you. How do you overcome all of this? That's the question. And right now, as we're approaching the, the big Christmas date that everybody has circled, we're really starting to evaluate teams. Mm -hmm. and, and some teams probably were pushing that they're a little bit better than we think they are. Yeah. There are some teams that are probably not as good as we're saying there are. So let's start in the Eastern Conference and look at some teams that you've been looking at. Let's begin with the Pacers and the Nets. Pacers are a team that have really, they have a new coach, third coach in, in three years. They, they've had some injuries, but they just haven't been able to do certain things well. Are, 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 okay. Should we be they, worried about them? No, we should not be worried about okay. it. They have the toughest schedule. They have the toughest schedule in the league so far. Mm -hmm. They have no T.J. Warren. People forgot about that, Yep. right? They've had seven uh, one-possession games, three overtime losses. Mm -hmm. You just take those alone, they're at 500, right? Holiday's out. McConnell's out. Those guys are tough, hard-playing glue guys. They're going to be right there. Plus, they're uh, learning a new system. Yeah, they got a new coach. They got a new staff. Uh, it's a new system. I, I just don't like the overreaction to where they're at. And they played competitive basketball. Their, their uh, differential's point three. Indiana's right there. They got a Hall of Fame coach. It's a great organization. Uh, it's, people love basketball there. They're going to be good. So, so with all of the rumors that have come out, and we don't necessarily know where those yeah. rumors came from, could have been agents, could have been other places, but you don't believe it's time to blow up the Pacers, try and trade Miles Turner, Sabonis, yeah. Brogdon, Levert. Don't do that yet. Yeah, I, I, I don't see it. I, I, I see they got a good core of guys. I, I think they're hungry. They play hard. Uh, they've won two in a row. They're winning tonight. Uh, it's a process. They've had a lot of things not go their way. They've lost games because of uh, questionable calls at the end. Mm -hmm. I've heard them. Yeah. They got a good rookie. Duarte's playing well. Done a great job with him. Hopefully they get Warren back and, and they get Holiday back and they start rolling. But Different expectations for the Brooklyn Nets. They're mm -hmm. expected to win a championship this year. They're obviously playing without a big key piece, but they have struggled against teams that are also pretty good. What do you make of who the Nets are right now? And will James Harden ever look like James Harden again? Well, I'm not big on the 500 team or plus 500 or it, it's still early for that too. What, what I see is Steve Nash has done an unbelievable job. That's what I see. Harden came in, he admitted he was a little behind, okay? Uh, they haven't played as well as they thought. Harris is out. Mm -hmm. No shooting. Irving is not there. They've handled that trauma to that franchise with that situation. And they're sixth in the league in defense. Sixth. Nobody, would, nobody thinks about that. Right. That's unbelievable from where they were last year. They're seventh in offense. And they're right there. They had a great win at Dallas uh, the other night. They're playing the right way. They're getting a lot from a lot of guys. Patty Mills, great addition. So I just think they've done a great job, and I think they're going to be right there. And, you know, uh, Aldridge has been a nice addition for them. Yep. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But Harden and Durant can carry you. They need more shooting around them. they got to try to find some more shooting that right. uh, creates space for those guys. But they're defending in December. They didn't do that last year. Right, and it's amazing they're doing that without a true rim protector as well. That is one place where the Nets are yeah, not. Yeah, I think Steve, Na you know, Steve Nash is an underrated, kind of unassuming, quiet guy. He's done a heck of a job. All right, let's go to the Western Conference. And 
No surprise here. We're going to talk about the Lakers. Also talk about, about the Nuggets. So, Coach, Lakers are at the 500 mark right now. They've had a bunch of injuries. They've had some COVID scares. Are, 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 are we jumping to conclusions too quickly that the Lakers are in trouble? We are. They've had 12 different starting lineups. They had another different starting lineup tonight with AD with the sore knee, right? They, everybody prepares for the Lakers. It's one of the biggest games on your schedule. They get everybody's best shot, all right? And the other thing is they added a Hall of Fame MVP ball dominant guard into their system. It takes time, Jared. It's, it's hard. It doesn't just happen. You just don't put the pieces together and everything works out for you. They also got a new staff. Frank's got two new coaches on his staff. Right. But Frank's, you know, uh, championship coach, David Fisdale's his championship coach. The bottom line is if the coach has got to coach effort and toughness, that's hard. They have to play harder. We talked earlier. 50-50 balls, loose balls, playing the right way. They play in a crowd a lot. You can't play in a crowd. You got to move it on to the next guy. You got to trust. That takes time. So, so they'll figure it out. How much does it change, though, from the coaching perspective that the playoff format has changed? It used to be where if LeBron's on your team, as long as he's in the top eight, we're fine. Doesn't matter what seed we are. But now that you need to be in the top six to avoid the play in, does that change the sense of urgency here in December for the Lakers? I, I think it does. I, it, it has changed, and we're still kind of figuring out how all that works. Um, you know, if you, if you didn't have that and you finish eighth, you're going to get at least two home games. Well, that's big for a franchise, and you have a chance. I was with the Rockets in 95 when we were in the sixth seed, and we won it. Mm -hmm. So it can be done, and LeBron's a guy that could do it. And, but you tell me you'd want to play the Lakers in the playoffs, whether they're in the play-in game or not. Would you want to play that team in the playoffs? No. Absolutely. Heck no, you wouldn't. Yeah. So they'll get it together. They'll figure it out. I hope AD's going to be okay. Uh, LeBron's going to get stronger and healthier as the season goes on. Russell will get acclimated. And their bench is new, too. Think right. about that. It's a new team. If it was that easy to put guys together and have it happen for you, everybody would be doing it. It doesn't work like that. Feels like every day we get another notification from the Denver Nuggets that there has been another injury. P.J. Dozier, the latest to go down. They're playing without Jamal Murray. Yeah. They're playing without Michael Porter Jr. Don't know if and when either one of those two will play mm -hmm. yet again. And, and Jokic is still putting up historically good numbers, looking like he could win MVP possibly, be right up there with Katie and Steph. Yeah, well, he's, he's just unbelievable. I was watching him last night. I mean, it's just amazing what he does. But think about that. They lost Michael Porter Jr. Now, he plays three and four. He's a two-position guy. He's a spacer. He has length. He blocks shots. He's, he's, he stretches the floor for other players. That's a huge. You can't even measure what that does to your offense. Right. Okay? And then um, they don't even have Jamal Murray. Just like T.J. Warren, everybody's forgotten about Jamal Murray. He's not even playing. Right. I think Steve Nash and I think Michael Malone are, are coach of the league candidates for what they've done with their teams so far this year. And Denver guards, and they play the right way, and the ball moves. And I, I love the green guys, right? Uh, I, I just I love J. Michael Green. I coached him in San Antonio and, and just a hardworking, tough guy. And then Jeff Green, I mean, he's like the modern-day Chucky Brown. Yeah. Right? All he does is win. Remember Chucky Brown? Yeah. Huh? Jeff, he... the, the guys in the Nets last year told me that as many superstars as there were in that locker room, it was Jeff Green who was the glue guy to yeah. keeping that team straight. Yeah. So I, I think Denver's doing a heck of a job with what they have. I love the Combazo guy. He's tough. Yeah. And, and they compete. I, I'm amazed at, at what they've done there, and I, I wouldn't want to play them in the playoffs either.